I'm lucky enough to know some incredibly smart people from all walks of life, from various places around the world. And this morning I got the opportunity to spend an hour and a half talking with some of the smartest people I know about some of the incredible challenges that we're all facing during this period of time that I refer to as the time that we entered the coronavirus. We talked about the challenges that business face, we talked about the challenges that families are facing, we talked about what the future might look like for us in business, for education, and not just the homeschooling of our primary school age kids, but also the future of education as a business. We talked about how connection has become so incredibly important during this time. Connection with people from anywhere, so it's really important, I think, that we make sure we're getting this intellectual stimulation during this time of isolation in whatever way is meaningful for each of us. For me, it's about talking to people who inspire me to step outside of my comfort zone, to do more for my community and to communicate better with people around me, both on a micro level but also on a macro level. Who are the people that stimulate and inspire you? Who are the people that you would love to spend an hour talking with? So figure out in your own neck of the woods, and that might be on a global scale, where I consider myself to be incredibly lucky to have people that I can communicate with from anywhere in the world who are so interesting, so inspiring, and challenge me to step up a little bit further. Part of the conversation this morning was all about a futurist approach. The world is gonna be different. People are talking about a return to normal, but by the time things start returning to normal, we'll be wondering what normal actually is because we'll be able to design our normal. We'll be able to create a bespoke new normal and it's already starting to happen. A phrase that was thrown about today, which I absolutely love, was somebody had seen online mention of the fact that we have become zombies and perhaps we're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse because we are connecting with each other in online forums like Zoom and other online platforms. We're accessing services through these online platforms that we may never have accessed before. In my psychology clinic, in the past, we've had trouble convincing people to use telehealth as an option. Now, my half of the Crawley Clinic is fully telehealth and we're seeing fewer session cancellations than we've ever seen because people have risen to this new version of normal for them. And they've risen to the opportunity to connect and get access to the services they need from their home because they have to, but learning that it's more convenient, it's easy, and it's not something to be afraid of. So I'm curious to know how your new normal is gonna look for you in the work that you do, how your family interacts with friends and others. Last night, we were sitting here celebrating my sister-in-law's 60th birthday. We had this big party. We were all on Zoom, of course, but we had this big party with speeches and cheers and a drink and she, we watched her blow out the candles on her cake and it was wonderful and a privilege to be able to be part of that celebration with her. And more people were able to attend from other locations that who, who otherwise would have missed out. So it's really important that we understand the opportunities for us as individuals, for families, for our kids, for our businesses. There are new normal opportunities already presenting themselves, ways that we can connect better, ways that we can inspire each other in new, new formats, ways that we can connect and collaborate that we might have overlooked in the past. So for those wonderful restaurants out there who are doing these great at-home services, whether I have to go and pick up the food or you bring it to me, thank you, because I love you so much. But I'm wondering now, what about a romantic dinner where you, as a fabulous restaurant, pair up with a local musician and provide a subscription-based or for a fee, the opportunity to have a local musician 
play live for me via Zoom while I eat my wonderful dinner. These are the kinds of collaborations that are possible now. These are the kinds of ideas I want to see happen. I want to see this futuristic version of connection come to life while we're still in isolation. And then I don't want us to lose those ideas. I want us to bring those ideas with us into the new normal. I spoke about nostalgia the other day and how I really think we need to drill down into what's providing meaning to us in these quieter, slower times and make sure we embed really rich memories about these moments that are special and carry that with us into the future and get nostalgic about the elements of this normal Forget being nostalgic for what happened two months ago, what your life was like two months ago. Think about what's amazing about this period of time. Think about what is special about this period of time and carry that forward with you. Yes, people are struggling financially. Yes, people are scared about their health. Yes, there's a lot that's really shitty about this period of time. But there are elements that are special that we should hold on to. So, have a think about that. Let me know what your ideas are. Let me know about some amazing things that you might be doing or that you wish somebody would do for you. Do you like my idea of a restaurant collaborating with a musician? Grab that idea. Talk to your local restaurant. See if they can collaborate with someone. They may already have a musician that used to perform live in their restaurant. Maybe they can continue to do so for a fee. So, have a wonderful day. I'm off to get my flu vaccination today. Big outing, hurrah. <laughs> Bye for now.